it doesn't get better than this folks I am completed the 2008 Jeep JK Wrangler 3.8 liter V6 engine 6 speed manual transmission frame preservation restoration whatever you want to call it um, I just wanted to show you the after video this is the after video the last video all right so <clears throat> had the vehicles are 12 years old and you know it lived in Maryland most of its life then moved down here south and it's gonna be seeing some uh, salt and brine again in its life in the very near future so I wanted to have the vehicle last longer than hopefully maybe it'll outlive me so that's the reason why I did this film so uh, here's some of the products I used for personal protective equipment I highly suggest a uh, respirator this is a 3M respirator model 6000 series with P100 filters some good eye protection because it will screw up your eyes uh, once you start spraying some good gloves these are the assortment of tools <coughs> good wire brushes all this can get brought up Harbor Freight <coughs> excuse me wire wheel cups and a old drill to put the attachment on and of course you want to use some good old uh, newspaper to lay it about because you know you're working in a garage <coughs> and I had those good old Ford jack stands for lighting I use this here uh, big area light and it's been it served me quite well Working 11 o'clock at night sometimes, this thing will light up the whole bottom of the Jeep. Puts out a lot of area of light, two different settings. Anyway, so anyway, that's some of the things you might want to consider uh, if you're going to take on this project. So, for my own recollect, let's see here. I think the uh, Vita Jeep currently has what, 100 and 30,600, oops, 136,000, miles. I'm gonna try to get a good zoom capture on this. There it is. <coughs> Alright, so let's get down to it. And I think you might have saw in the other videos where I had taped off which I don't have on is use some blue masking tape that's good for painter tape to, uh, to protect sorry here let me get this thing in focus to protect everything so I'll do a near side view first and I'll start methodical sorry here guys a little excited so this is the front of the vehicle okay left front driver coming through I used three cans of that self etch and primer before I even wire um, after I wired wheeled the frame and took those brushes and got every nook and cranny and then I used eight bottles of that rust-oleum gloss semi-gloss paint basically if you want to look at it two bottles two cans I'm sorry will take care of the undercarriage you, if you look at it this way one can for the right for the passenger side one can for the driver's side and that includes the front and rear differentials okay and I used eight of those bad, bad boys and the self etching primer the same uh, you know I figured three cans of primer will do it and so going through And then this is me going panning down the passenger driver's side here coming up through nice and I taped off if you saw in the last video I taped off all areas that you didn't want to get paint on you don't want to get paint on I didn't want to get paint on the bolts <clears throat> I can always go through and later on touch up Alright, so I'm coming through. This is me underneath. 
going to pin up the uh, underneath the uh, rocker panel driver side door all the way up uh, 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 this is me taking a look up here on the back side of it like being that it is you might not see capture capture too much but That up there in the shock tower is really nicely. Nice paint. Rear diff cover. I scuffed it down. Really good with the wire brush and wire wheel and hand. And then coated that. I did nice light even coats. I had the can do the work. It's about 12 to 16 inches apart. And just misted. Liberally misted. Drying times varied two hours between drying times for each coating um, says it's says that it was pretty much good to go in an hour but I waited about two hours in between coats if you got time on your hands I suggest using it let's see here so you're looking at the left you're looking at the passenger side there coming through left quarter to right quarter So I'm gonna come around here to the uh, right quarter. Coming to the uh, passenger passenger side. Looking at the uh, angle bracket there where the bumpers attach. Up and through. I made this video so I can look back and see how I can make improvements to the process later on. Because I'm gonna, might I figure I, I might have to touch this up maybe once a year, give or take. You're on the passenger side now, panning down. Oop, the light's a little fierce. I don't know if you'll catch any of this. And I wanted to. Uh, so I can make improvements year to year if I go through this process. I do intend to wash off any brine or salt that I inc that the Jeep comes into contact to when I have to drive it in inclement weather. You might notice in my other videos I have a 2000, I mean 1998 Toyota Corolla with 276,000 miles in counting. And I've kept up with that very well. Uh, just washing, waxing liberally and underneath so with the Jeep having 130,000 hopefully I'll be able to do the next 100,000 just the same on this Jeep all right so I'm at the front now oh yeah you might have noticed this here so this is the right front bumper right uh, on the right front bumper corner here it had been pumped in you know these rubber uh, bumpers here so I took a heat gun, cut a keyhole right there, as you'll see a square, and took a flat, a little hammer, rubber hammer, and banged it out with a heat gun on the front side, and it popped out. And I'll just show you what I'm talking about, huh? And see how it's nice. So you take a cut a cut a hole here, insert an object like a screwdriver and a nice rubber surface, and put a heat gun on on the front side of it, spraying heat here it will nicely pop out this and uh, it did it in 10 minutes and then I took JB weld and epoxy seal and sealed this up it's been like this for a year now anyway just a little a little extra for you if you ever want to keep the original cheap looking uh, rubber bumpers there okay so where am I so I'm on the front of the frame right front uh, passenger Panning down. Looks really nice. And I will show you the front side. Yep, I think it came out pretty good. <clears throat> uh, 
Yep. And that's the diff, front, rear front differential. All right, so we'll take a beat from this angle. Panning down. Nice. And coming up through. This is underneath the Jeep. Here. Oh, labor. This was a laborious process. You're looking at two days of work. If you had proper lifts, you could put this thing in the air on a four poster lift. You could probably knock it out in eight hours with the right, with probably better tools and equipment. But you work with what you got. And that's what I did. So, all right, coming back through here now. I'm going to go underneath the Jeep and show you. Coming back down, uh, front driver, rear diff, panning through. All right, front cross member. Oh, look at that! That's that uh, skid plate that you might have noticed there. I attacked that heavily with primer and roller wire brush and sealed that thing up with the uh, Rust-Oleum product. Hopefully it'll last me a bit longer than a year before I have to replace this thing. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm underneath looking and panning the right side of this uh, fuel skid plate of the carrier. Oh yeah, pretty gnarly. That's what Russ would do. Russ never sleeps. That's what I figured out after many years of northern driving. Uh-oh. They found me. This is real live action here. I'll have to... Hopefully they'll just leave a message. Alrighty. So... There we go. That's underneath here. Drive shaft going back. And what do we got here? Take a look at that. And let me take a look at this real closely. All right, one second here. All right, all right. Yeah, and I know there's probably some spots that... All right, now I'm back on the passenger side. Coming back through. All right. All right, interesting there. So that's the right rear shock. Nicely. I wanted to make sure I got all the rust out of that area. Really good. Alright. All Alrighty, so well. Well, that being said, guys, hopefully, hopefully this will maybe give you some confidence, or if you want to do it yourself. Uh, and I'm just looking at all the cross members here. Oh, oh, I got the paper. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna crawl up from underneath this. Let me up here. And this thing right now. Alrighty. So folks, a little bit of work and persistence and some tools. You can do it. All night long. Anyway, you can do it and uh be safe, be smart, 
and do it yourself and have yourselves an able craft day it's a labor of love and I'm glad that I got this job done put the wheels on torque and the only thing I will do later on is I'm gonna do a fluid film and uh, fluid film this thing after about a week after the paint cures really well okay Okay, guys, take care of yourselves.